Hello. Good evening. This is Kevin again here bring you another video on ACMT, Apple Certified Macintosh Technician. I apologize to you for not making a video yesterday. I was waiting for my microphone, the Blue Yeti microphone right over here. I hope the quality sounds a lot better than my uh, previous microphone. And let's get started. So basically this is lesson number lesson number five, I believe. So lesson number five is uh, about troubleshooting Mac OS X and understanding Mac OS X Yosemite in El Capitan. So this is about troubleshooting Mac OS X and Yosemite in a nutshell. So the Yosemite startup process. You have hardware, you have firmware, and you have software. Hardware powers on, tests, and repairs the hardware. What is hardware? Hardware is memory, the logic board, the hard drive, the wireless card, and all these other good things are inside the MacBook Pro, MacBook Air. You have firmware. Firmware is enabled in the hardware. Using firmware, you can enable FireVault to enable password and usernames. So you have firmware, and the firmware is basically like the BIOS for, for uh, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air. Uh, BIOS is on Windows 7. If you know what a BIOS is, it's basically found on Windows 7. So BIOS is you press the delete key. On some computers, they'll tell you what button to press. You press the delete key, and you go into the BIOS, and then you can add a password in the BIOS so that nobody messes with your BIOS settings. So firmware, there's a BIOS for firmware for Apple, and that's how you'll go. You'll go into FireVault, and you'll pretty much add a password there. Then there's software bootloader. It's a program that places operating systems into memory and OS and loads and starts everything else required at the login stage. So what if Yosemite doesn't, doesn't start up the way it's supposed to start up? What do we do? This is what we do. We log into safe mode. We hold the shift key. When you hear the, when you hear the chime, the da, you hold the shift key. Release the shift key when you see the gray Apple logo in the progress bar. If that doesn't work, you will use something called SMC Reset. And if that doesn't work, you will use something called NVRAM Reset. Um, SMC Reset and NVRAM Reset, I'm going to go over that later. So the normal startup uh, for Yosemite or El Capitan, it, it does a power on self-test, which is the post. Mac powers on, it checks the logic board, and does a, a quick check on the hardware. Mac emits a, a chime and continues the startup process. If the fo if photos detected, it, it might make a series of error tunes on the MacBook Pro, MacBook Air. You will hear like beep, beep, beep. Then this is what you would do. So troubleshooting error tunes. If you have one tune, one tone, and five second pause, the tone is repeated then you probably have no RAM installed on your computer. What is RAM, Kevin? This is RAM, this is memory, memory RAM, right here. So you probably don't have this on your MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, you probably have missing RAM on your computer. If you hear three tones and a five second pause, then three tones again, then RAM doesn't pass the data integrity check. What, what the, wait, Kevin, what the hell does that mean? That, that means that, um. Like what the heck does that mean? That means that um that you you put RAM on the RAM that's on the computer, the RAM is um it's bad. You have really bad. The memory is bad, so you have to replace the memory. If you hear three three tones and five second pause, then the memory is bad. That could be the issue, or you might have to reset the memory. This is the one or the other. If you hear one long tone when holding down the power button, that means you have to do a firmware. That means the firmware upgrade is in progress. Excuse me. If you hear three long tones and three short tones, three long tones again, firmware might be corrupted. So now that we talked about that, I want to talk about what the folder with the question mark on your computer means. When you turn on your computer and you get a folder with a question mark, what that means. And what the other icon means if you get a circle with a slash on it. So we have uh, our flashing folder with a, with a question mark. That means it's unable to find the startup file to boot the OS. So that means you have a computer that doesn't have the operating system installed on it. So that's why you have a folder with a flashing icon on it. But um, in some cases, you'll get that folder if your hard drive is bad. If you have a bad hard drive, you might get that folder also. So you should, you should um, do like a process of elimination and figure out what it is. If it's the folder with the question mark because you, you don't have a hard drive installed, 
or is it because you you need to put an OS on your computer? If you get the circle with the slash on it, that means that this this computer is incompatible with the OS that you just installed. So if I put a if I put a El Capitan on Snow Leopard, that's from like a like long time ago, and it's incompatible with it, then it's gonna give you a circle with a slash on it. That's pretty much what it is. And this is the startup normal startup. You have an Apple logo right here. Then you have the Apple the Apple progress bar. Then you have the Apple login screen. That's pretty much how it looks on a regular computer. More troubleshooting techniques. So if you're having issues with your computer, you should check the Apple Store for the latest upgrades. Check your software upgrade. Check your OS upgrade. And if you're having more issues, use first aid to repair the hard disk. If you're having issues with your hard drive, like program applications, use first aid. So now I'm going to go over this. What is this? You're like, Kevin, what is this? I'm going to go over this right now. So I'm going to log in like I always log in. Let's see what this is. All right. So you want to check You want to check the app store for the latest upgrades, right? So you go into your app store right here. We have our docs down here. And um, you have updates. If you're having issues with your applications, your programs, you probably have to update it. So I have an update right here, if you, as you can see. If you're having issues with your OS, then you probably have to update your OS. So in order for you to do that, you go into your um, Apple logo icon, click about this Mac, and click on software update. If you're having issues with your um, folders, your files, and your, your folder permissions on your computer, or your applications, then you will use something called first aid. In order for you to get into that, you click on the magnifying glass that, that we call spotlight. You, you type in this utility. It should come up, press enter, and you will do a first aid. You run it. It's gonna repair the bad sectors of your hard drive. This is like doing um, SFC scan now on Windows 7 or check disk for Windows 7. This is pretty much what that is. And if you see the details, checking to see if there's any error messages or any issues with your folders, your files, your um, partition and things like that. And yeah, it's running perfectly fine. So that's what that is. Now we're gonna talk about SMC reset. So SM, SMC reset is like a last resort. If you haven't, if you do, if you tried everything and it's not working, then you do a SMC reset. And basically, you use your built-in keyboard. You press the Shift Control Option on the left side of the keyboard. Then you press the power button at the same time. You release all the keys. Then press the power button again to turn on the Mac. And that's how you do a SMC reset. When to do a SMC reset? Let's go over that. If your computer fans are running high speed through the computer and it's experiencing heavy usage and properly, and, and, and it's properly ventilated, what, what that means is if you have a computer that's extremely hot and there's no dust or dirt in it, it's extremely hot, and that's that's when you do a SMC reset. If you're having issues with your keyboard backlight, then that's when you do a SMC reset. You have an issue if your um, indicator lights, if you have battery indicator lights. That are behaving correctly. If you have a display backlight that doesn't respond correctly, if you have a computer that doesn't respond to the power button, if you have a Mac notebook computer that doesn't respond properly when you close or open the lid, if your computer sleeps or shuts down unexpectedly, if your battery doesn't charge properly, if your Mac safe adapter LED doesn't indicate the correct activity, if the computer is performing very slow because of high CPU usage, then you would do a SMC reset. If your application is bounced on the dock for an extended long period of time, then that's when you do SMC reset. For applications, that means this thing over here. This is your dock down here. And if you click on something and it takes forever to open, then that's when you do SMC reset. Now that we talked about that, we're going to talk about NVRAM reset. So NVRAM reset is memory that is stored on the hardware side of the computer. And you only do an NVRAM reset if you have issues with your display, your video settings, your startup volume, which is your hard drive, your speaker volume, or if you have a kernel panic on your computer. Kernel panic is a blue screen of death. I'm going to show you what it is. 
kernel panic mac. This is what a kernel panic is. You need to restart your computer, hold down the power button to for several seconds or press the res, uh, restart button. If you get getting the screen, then you probably have to do a reset on your um on your RAM, NVRAM reset, and that's when you fix it. How do you do an NVRAM reset? To perform an NVRAM reset, you shut down the computer, you locate the following keys. Uh, command option PR keys before the gray screen appears. You hold down the keys until the computer restarts. You hear the startup sound for the second time. Then you release the keys. That's when you would do it. We have other troubleshooting techniques. Uh, you either reinstall Mac OS X. If you're having issues with your Mac computer and the computer is not acting, not, not acting the way it's supposed to act you, and you have a virus, and you, I, I, would, I would remove the virus through... Um, to the app store, you're trying to remove a virus, like download an antivirus, and you you either do a virus scan in safe mode, like I went over safe mode, you go to, you go into safe mode, you do a virus scan, remove the virus, and it's still acting real slow. Reinstall your Mac OS X. If you're probably having issues with your Mac OS X, just reinstall it. For the most part, reinstall it. Um, check to see if the operating system is compatible. Check your hard drive. If you want to see if your hard drive is good, you know, always go into first aid. Check to see if your partition is, is your hard drive is good. Your partition is healthy. That's pretty much what that is. What I'm what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, reseat your memory. If you're having issues with your computer, you should probably reseat your memory. If you're having issues with, with your um like like your computer keeps restarting like really random or you're getting beeps, reset your memory. Check your cables. Check your flex cables on your computer. Maybe your cables are going bad. Check your logic board. See if you if you see if it's damaged or marking. See see if your logic board has water on it or, for the most part, if it got a spell on it, then you're gonna get some crazy stuff on your computer. So that's what that is. And if you're having if you're still having other issues with your computer, like for example, like I'm trying to open up um, Adobe Reader or Adobe Flash or Microsoft Word, and for some reason it doesn't want to open up. Try to duplicate the issue. Try to create the issue again. How do I create the issue again? Well, you, well, it's not really creating issues. It's more like creating another account. You create another user account, and if you can't open it up on the other account, then you probably have you probably have an issue with that account that you're you're using. If you call, if you're having, you're logged in as Jimmy, and you can't open up Microsoft Word for some reason, but you can open it up as as Jill in the other account, and you you can't open it up as Jimmy. More than likely, the file is corrupted. Either the file is corrupted, or you have to do an update on, on, on Jimmy's account, or you have to reinstall the application or the program. So that's pretty much when you would create a second account. And that pretty much concludes my video. Um, thank you for watching my video. As always, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, I got more subscribers, I noticed. I greatly appreciate it. And... For people that are new on the field and as a technician, as an IT professional, uh, or trying to get into technology, I hope you find my videos very useful. I'm gonna keep making more videos, and if you if you um if if you're someone that knows other people that want to learn how to use computers, tell them about my channel. I'm 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 free. Everything I show is free. It's for educational purposes only. I'm trying to teach people how to use computers because you know, realistically, not everyone is tech savvy, so. I'm trying my best to show people how to use a computer or how to troubleshoot and what to do on your computer and things like that and that's why I make these videos. So my next video will probably be about, uh, it'll probably be Mac OS X, like Mac OS X in a nutshell, I'm going to go over the operating system because I made all videos about ACMT and now I'm going to use all those videos and I'm going to combine all of them and I'm going to go over um, Mac OS X in a nutshell and I'm going to show you what what stuff you should know on the operating system if you're trying to take the ACMT, ACMT exam. So you guys have a good day and thanks for watching and um, happy Saturday. Take care. Bye now.